Reba, we have a situation, and this time it's real. Yeah, we were called down to pick up Kira from school. Apparently, she got into an argument with some girl and punched her in the mouth. What? Kira hit someone? Kira, is this true? Ah, oh, you know how it is on the playground. One minute we're standing around drinking, the next we're throwing punches. <laughs> Hey, Kira. Man, I hope I can move out one day so I can constantly be here. <laughs> Don't mess with Kira. She punched a girl at school. Oh, I knew it was only a matter of time before Miss Congeniality snapped. Spell congeniality. <laughs> spell no. Okay, spell knock it off. All right, girls, we don't have time for this Cheyenne Kira love fest. Kira, what's going on with you? Nothing. We're losing her, Reba. Losing her to the mean streets of Houston. <laughs> why would you punch some girl? It's how she shows affection. That's right. So why don't you come over here for a little hug? Oh. Girls. <laughs> girls. Girls. Stop it. Kira, start talking. She started messing with me, so I took a swing at her. I didn't even think I'd connect. It's no big deal. Oh, I think a little girl going home from school with a steak pressed to her face is a big deal. Mm. What on God's green earth made you snap? Have you considered the fact that she's a total psycho? <laughs> shut up. You shut up. Girls, this is your last warning. I gotta get out of here. Kira, what did that girl do to make you lose it? She called Cheyenne a slut, okay? She called Cheyenne a slut, so I punched her. Oh my gosh, my psycho sister loves me. <laughs> Kira, standing up for Cheyenne. I hear the words, but I can't wrap my head around them. <laughs> I cannot believe that girl called me a slut. I was so far from a slut. I was a tease. Cheyenne, if you were a tease, I wouldn't be a grandfather yet. Even if Kira was standing up for Cheyenne, we still have a huge problem. She decked that girl. But she was defending a member of our family, which is what our family has always done. Yes. Reba, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were proof of this. Is that a slam against my family? Oh, well, hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, Barbara Jean. You heard what that girl called me. Yeah. Plus, it takes one to know one. Mm. Except I'm not one. But if I was one, then she would have to be one, you know. Two. <laughs> Kira still has to be punished. Oh, you got that right. If we don't, she could turn on us. And I bruise like a peach. I do not want my baby sister to suffer because of some name-calling girl who I bet is stupid and ugly. Just be tough with her, Reba. It's the only thing her kind understands. Oh, hey there, buttercup. Kira. Kira, come here. Look at me. I want you to hear me when I say this, okay? I love you loving me. <laughs> wow, that almost wasn't about you. <laughs> Kira, we're all very happy that you stuck up for your sister. Yes, but hitting that girl was wrong and there need to be consequences. So, you're going to have to be punished, right, Reba? <sighs> yes. I'm sorry, but your dad's right. So I'm afraid there will be no Jackson Brown concert next month. Who the heck is Jackson? <laughs> Don't push it. I never knew you felt that way about me. Can we please not make a big deal about this? Anything you want, because as of now, we are spending every free moment together. I'm taking you to the mall. What? Come what? on. No. Please, just one more punch. 